Hey everybody, I'm back with another update of what's happening here in Southern Utah. And today I'm back out here on Southern Parkway on the south side of St. George. Today we're gonna to talk about everything happening right here on exit three, the future exit five, as well as exit six at Desert Canyons, as there are more and more people moving out here and they're dying for uh, the commercial to be out here. I really look forward to showing you everything that's going on. So let's get started. So first up, we'll start right here at Exit 3 River Road, where we've got the White Dome Commercial Plaza that is right across the street from the CT High School and in front of the White Dome community. A lot of people out here have been asking what is going here, as I know a lot of people really want some more food and different services out here. So they are set to announce a couple of the tenants that are set to go in here uh, that will be starting their tenant improvements soon. So Building A right here on the corner, uh, nothing to announce here just yet. They're still working through uh, some lease agreements on this one. Building B right next to it is official, and this is going to be Simster Orthodontics and uh, Johnson Pediatric Dentistry, uh, which are a really popular dentist and orthodontist already here in town as they have locations all over the place. I know they're gonna be a really big hit out here. Uh, their plan is to be open uh, sometime in the spring. Then next to it, we've got Building C that has a couple uh, spots in it. Uh, one so far that is signed, um, and this is Sugar's Nail Shack, uh, which is a nail salon coming from Northern Utah that is really uh, highly rated up there. Um, and they're excited to be coming down here. Uh, the other two spots uh, are still uh, being worked on. One of them does have a drive through uh, so I do anticipate some food out here, which will be awesome. Then from there, we'll finish up at Building D, where we've got two other announcements here to make. Uh, the first one is Grit and Grind Coffee, uh, which is a really popular coffee truck that's mostly parked at Staley Farm. Uh, this is a local family opening up their first brick and mortar out here, that, and I know they're super excited about it. They do have a drive through uh, They've got coffee, acai bowls, uh, some different food items. Uh, I know they're gonna be a hit out here as well. And then next to it, uh, we've got uh, Virtual Greens Golf Club, uh, which is a golf simulator lounge that's going to be 24 seven, has a track band simulator with it. Um, they have two bays. Um, and like I said, they'll have memberships uh, that will be 24 seven. There are a couple other spaces throughout the complex still open, as I mentioned, along with this big pad right here in the middle that's set to be a gas station. Um, I don't have who it is just yet that it's going to be as they're still uh, working through the agreement on that, uh, but they are just about finished with it. So hopefully we'll have some more info on that as well as the uh, filling of these other spaces out here. Uh, so as soon as I have all this info, I'll make sure to stay updated on it. Now staying on the same exit, right behind this complex, we've got a bunch of apartments going in uh, that will be nice to have out here. Uh, don't have a time frame just yet on that, but they will be finished sometime in 2025. Uh, then going across the street from there, uh, right next to the CT High School to the west, uh, we've got the Utah Tech Innovation District uh, that they are continuing to work on out here. This is gonna be a Southern campus for the university uh, where they're gonna have a bunch of their innovative uh, different technologies uh, that will be set to go out here. They've got a lot of really good innovation happening through the university right now, along with some cool ideas uh, to bring it out here as part of their Southern campus to expand the university. It is 183 acres, really big campus. Uh, it's still really early in the process. They are uh, going through the planning. Um, and as things to continue to progress, I'll make sure to keep everybody in the loop. Now we'll head east down Southern Parkway to what will eventually be the new exit five, uh, right here before you get to the Desert Canyon exit. Uh, this is still a little ways out as they're uh, anticipating probably 12 to 18 months before they start construction, uh, but they are going through the planning stages with the environmental study as well as the design process, and it is uh, moving forward. Uh, this one is going to connect uh, both to uh, Rim, Runner, Rim Runner Road on the south side, as well as two roads on the, on the north side uh, that will be Flowers Way as well as the White Dome Drive uh, from the White Dome community. Uh, these will all tie into what will eventually be known as Southern Hills Drive, uh, which will head north uh, all the way through the, the east side of the industrial park um, and connect into 3000 East, uh, which is in Little Valley. Uh, this one, again, still a little ways out, a couple years down the road, but it is going through the planning process. Uh, so make sure to keep your eyes open for this one. Now to finish out, we'll head down to exit six where we've got a couple other projects to talk about. Uh, the first one was recently finished and that is uh, station 10 uh, for the St. George Fire Department that I know they are really excited about. Uh, this one will serve this whole south side of the city. Uh, they also will have a police substation in it so that they have a police presence out here as well. Uh, they also have moved their training center out here. As you can see, they've got a four and a half story tower uh, with a big training facility where they're gonna conduct all different types of training for their fire department. So like I said, this one is finished and is open to serve both fire and police. And I know it's gonna be a really big addition out here to the south part of the city. 
And lastly, just down from the fire station, we've got the DBAP Baseball Academy that is making good progress on their building. Uh, this is gonna be a 14,000 square foot building that will include a pro shop, pitching machines, they'll be able to have uh, camps, as well as clinics, birthday parties. Really, it's just gonna be a destination for all uh, baseball players of all ages. Uh, this one is making good progress, like I mentioned. Uh, they're planning on uh, opening near the end of quarter one or beginning of quarter two. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for this one sometime in March or April. And that's a wrap guys. As you can see, a lot of good stuff happening here on the south end of town. Really excited for everyone out here to get more services uh, for them. For more info on what's happening here in Southern Utah, you can call me or text me 435-357-1619 or find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Thanks guys.